Hey guys, it's Ross Gorton on Space Couch Today. It's time for a Bigelow Aerospace update. We haven't spoken about them for quite some time. So it looks like NASA is looking to extend the stay of the beam on the International Space Station. It's been up there now for about 18 months. And it was originally was due to uh, be detached after two years and then deorbited and burn up in the atmosphere, which I just thought was kind of wasteful. But it looks like um, they're looking to extend it uh, for up to five years. So it'll be like another three years um, but that would kind of overlap with the current period, so it maybe um, wouldn't necessarily start straight after the end of the two year period, it would maybe start before. And they would hope to use it for uh, long term storage. It would uh, free up a lot of space on the ISS for other science packages if they can store uh, other stuff in the beam, which is very exciting. And also, um, perhaps they would then extend it for another couple of one year periods after that so that would be very good it looks like the beam is working out as we all hoped that it would now also um the, sorry bigelow have uh, announced uh, a partnership with ula um, which they hope to send one of their ba 330s to lunar orbit to serve as a lunar outpost which again is very exciting and is something the bigelow have spoken about in the past as part of their long term term plans because they are very interested in going to the moon and the current uh, administration has expressed the desire to go back to the moon. Also, Vice President Pence gave a speech uh, uh, several weeks or a month or so ago at NASA saying that they wanted to go back to the moon. So this would use the Vulcan rocket that is still in uh, development by ULA in the 562 configuration. So it would launch into low earth orbit I guess it'd be in a, a, a parking orbit for about a year while they check it out, make sure everything's deployed properly, send astronauts up there every, was it three months, I think they can rotate crews on the beam to try it out. And then they would um, send up another couple of uh, stages, the, uh, the ACES stage that they're developing as a refueling tanker and as a space tug to then push it out to lunar orbit so very exciting because Bigelow obviously they've been saying they're hoping to have two BA 330s completed by the end of 2019 and then ready to launch 2020 or any time after that so they had already uh, announced with ULA they're hoping to place one in earth orbit just as a standard space station then there would be the second one also as a space station in earth orbit and then going out to the moon it would be absolutely fascinating to have uh, that would be three space stations for a time we would have as well as whatever the Chinese will have had by then I know the Tiangong one is about to fall back to earth but the Tiangong two three four that were in development they will be up there at some point so starting to get proliferation of space stations which obviously we love that on the space couch the more space stations the better I mean how else are we going to get to uh, the hundred you know <laughs> with that TV show with multiple space stations all joined together we've got to start launching them but yes BA 330s are going to be going to the moon hopefully I'm very very excited and that should hopefully just be the start because Big Love also said you could fly down a BA 330 to the lunar surface and have that as your outpost or um, I think it's maybe it was two of them joined together to fly down to the outpost. But yes, it looks like the beam is working out, and if these other BA 330s work out, then hopefully we shall see many, many more of them in orbit. So, what do you think, guys? Are you excited by this? Bigelow is a company that um, I do find very interesting, uh, and Robert Bigelow is very interesting as well. His desires and passions to drive us out into the solar system especially to the moon and then later to Mars, a very welcome news. The more space billionaires there are, the better. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.